Good afternoon, it's uh, Adil Fasal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for the uh, trading session Thursday, 12th of January 2017. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can also download the app with the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, now in terms of the um, actual um, numbers, uh, Asian markets overnight is relatively weak. Okay, we had the swoon in the USDJPY led by Mr. Trump. Basically, he uh, trumped himself. Donald Trump trumped. Okay, uh, basically the market thumped on Mr. Trump. So, um, so we have the uh, Nikkei down minus 1.2 percent. The Shanghai down 0.6 percent. The Hang Seng 0.4 percent. So, Asian market certainly getting hit with that stronger yen. Okay, USDJPY trading at the 114. I think it actually dipped below that. Oil prices are now starting to slide higher, but up to the uh, the fifty-three dollar level. Okay, so dollar obviously is helping the commodities to a large extent. We did have copper as well up quite stellar, two sixty-four, two sixty-five, and now starting to push back. Okay, we've also had the Aussie and the uh, Kiwi certainly rally very strongly today as well. So again, that certainly needs to be respected to a large extent. The euro really is the biggest. Um, uh, well, I say European equities are the biggest casualty, but. The, uh, the actual catalyst is the euro. Also, with regards to the uh, GBP USD, actually uh, pushed above 1.23. So basically, you can see that the uh, dollar certainly starts to fall and then the equities or global equities start to sell off. Uh, it certainly seems to be linked with the USD JPY to a large extent. Okay. Now, uh, the situation where we are right now, uh, Asian markets down, Trump concerns certainly dominating because he didn't allude to any additional fiscal stimulatory measures. Uh, basically didn't give the uh, the market the Kool-Aid that it was looking for, okay, and therefore there's no argument to uh, sustain the move higher, on, especially in terms of equities. And that's basically where we stand. In terms of European uh, data this morning, let's just go over the stats with you folks, okay. Uh, the important numbers really, um, you had um, uh, French inflation more or less in line, uh, German GDP growth actually coming stronger. Again, that's obviously helped swell or strengthen the euro, okay and send the euro higher and the euro higher isn't necessarily good news as we all know so just bear that in mind okay uh, now we have um, in the italian industrial production as well coming in on the stronger side again that's not exactly good news you've got industrial production from the eurozone coming in stellar as well so basically indicating towards a more hawkish stance from the ecb a hawkish stance from the ecb as we all know indicates um, a tapering and therefore that's negative for equities because they no longer get the kool-aid Okay, so everything is about that Kool-Aid. That's all it basically comes down to. In terms of US markets, we have a lot of activity around the half past one area. Initial jobless claims, export prices, Mr. Evans and Mr. Harker both speaking as well. Should be interesting. Okay, should be very interesting. Okay, now let's go to the uh, the actual technical picture. Let's just see exactly where we stand here. Okay, so key levels are certainly being respected thus far. Uh, the gap lower certainly has not closed and there really is no catalyst at the moment for it to close. Okay, just bear that in mind. Um, now, you certainly have the euro trading up to the 1.0660 level, so again, hurting European equities. You have the unfilled gap at 11.650 now, so just bear that in mind. We've obviously down at uh, 70 to 80 points at the moment. Excuse me. Okay, so this is a situation with regards to the German DAX. We go to the daily chart, certainly um, no real damage on the daily chart as of yet. Okay, a 60-minute chart certainly is a cause of concern now because you've got the head for the head and shoulders so just bear that in mind okay so we could certainly reverse here and start to sell off so again just be be mindful of that okay you basically have the right shoulder brewing now from my understanding uh, anywhere above the 50 61 from my understanding certainly will be a shorting opportunity for european equities that's where we stand okay now in terms of the french cac let's bring the french cac French CAC certainly has been weak regardless, okay, although the chart itself on the daily certainly is starting to claw back, okay, coming into gap fill resistance now on the 60 minute chart, you'll be able to see it clearly on the 10 minute chart, you're certainly into gap fill resistance and therefore looking for risk aversion. Certainly I've held that pivot low at uh, 4850, again on the 60 minute chart is crucial, that support zone, that support zone certainly has held, and again same type of scenario here, you have the left shoulder, you have the head, that's already gone in, looking for this right shoulder, then looking for a flush lower. So European equity is certainly under pressure given the weaker euro. FTSE 100 daily chart, yesterday's doji candle certainly holding, so again, it needs to be respected thus far, even though we had uh, uh, stronger retail sales from the likes of Marks and Sparks, etc. Certainly is holding for now, okay. 
Uh, now, let's just bring up the 60-minute uh, chart of the uh, FTSE. As you can see, we've broken this key di diagonal trend line. And the same type of scenario is occurring here. You have this bearish pattern that's brewing. So you basically have this left shoulder that's already been put in. You have the head, which obviously has been registered. And now we're just looking for this right shoulder and looking for a flush. So just keep an eye on this uh, Fibonacci retracement. So anyway, we obviously we've hit the 38, 50, 61. Those are all key resistance zones. So just bear that in mind. You do have this horizontal line as well. So looking for a flush low. And that's my understanding and that's my interpretation. Okay, folks, I think that's a good summation of European equities for now. Be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and certainly take advantage of that bonus. Goodbye now.